Ooh, hello there, my fellow theme park designers. Good times, Oscar here, and welcome back to Sci-Fi versus the Wild West. And we're over here at the Canyon Runner, and did we decide to call this the Scott Canyon Runner? I think we did. We got to change the name. But uh, as you can see, we've got a train in our station here, and I want to jump into the. Let's see. Let's pull up the little analytics here. As you can see, the wear and tear on this thing is incredibly terrible. I've actually done a full like refurbishment of this twice now, and I don't know what it is. Is it just the nature of the attraction and being, you know, a roller coaster to be more wear and tear? Um, so let's actually jump onto the attraction and, uh, oh, actually, I was hoping to get the one that was just going out of the station, but uh, I just wanted to jump on here for a quick second. Ooh, into the tunnel. Spooky. Haha. -ha. I just love watching this attraction go around. It is just so much fun. It just reminds me of, like, a little bit of Thunder Mountain, a little bit of the Matterhorn at Disneyland. Absolutely love it. Anyway, let me jump off there. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how I can keep this thing a little bit more uh, up to date or more uh, efficient, let me know because that thing is struggling a little bit. Um, as for the queue, as you can see, we are still at maximum capacity. So... What I want to do to start out today's episode is add that block station. So we're definitely going to get to that and potentially a new marquee at the front. And then we're going to get to a new attraction over in the back. And I got some really awesome plans. So we'll get there in just a minute. But I have a question for you. This little location right here, what do we do with it? So we can make it a Western theme or we can make it kind of a generic theme similar to these other areas over here. Remember how we did these kind of with the standard planet coaster design. Um, where we could do like a merry-go-round or something along those lines in these areas. I don't know. It's a good question. Or we, you know, we could do another Western, you know, ride and attach it to this area of the park. But uh, if you have any ideas for this area of the park, go hashtag front of Western land and come up with an idea for that spot. Um, now we're going to go over to where we finished on our last episode. And I absolutely love this. This is taking, you know, a very basic, you know, attraction. It doesn't have any theme to it. And in you know incorporating it into our own land and our own style so we built up this old western fort and i love it because we've even got some cowboys having a gun battle look there he is and he's got this exploding barrel down here i love it so inside here we have our bumper cars and they're just whizzing about inside they're all covered up by the walls of the fort so it fits in with the theme that uh, we've created around here which i absolutely love so what we need to do is we actually need to name it so forge a Head. I thank you very much. Uh, poor cameraman again. Oh, Scar, you are such a good cameraman. <laughs> Let me add the sign and the new attraction name from Forge Ahead from the comments. And there we go. We have the Calvary Clash, and I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you so much, Forge Ahead. I love that name. It's really cool. So I love the little entrance we have here with, of course, the uh, the marquee. And we haven't actually used this. This is just the default Western kind of marquee. And I thought we'd throw it in there, at least have one of those inside the actual area. Um, but yeah, how do you guys like that build? I absolutely loved it so we have that now complete now let's head over to our roller coaster and I want to do that suggestion you guys had given me about adding a block station right there so it'll increase our capacity by at least one more car for the Ska Canyon Runner welcome back and we now have it operational once again now we've encountered a couple of little details that are a little bit frustrating one is that I can't adjust the speed of the lift hill now old roller coaster tycoon games of the past you could adjust the speed and be really nice because this car has to wait here for quite some time well the other car is working its way up this giant lift hill right here to get out of the bottom but that is I guess just the nature of our ride being in this gigantic canyon down here so I think it's just you know this is the way it's gonna be but uh, I think our speed of ooh, what's going on down here the speed of the line should be increased oh nope it's apparently not <laughs> there are so many people trying to get on this attraction I guess that's what happens when you have a five star let's look at the ratings one more time here you have a five star almost i mean we got really close to 1500 that was our goal with the, the log ride and of course this ride um, but they definitely got close to them but let's head over to the other part of the park here and let's get started so i've made some decisions which is surprising for me right <laughs> we're gonna actually build it up on the cliff and as you can see i kind of jazzed up the cliff a little bit Got some extra details here kind of smoothed it out now my thoughts are that we're going to drop it down right here and you know that like i said before this is kind of a sci-fi related attraction but we're going to do our best we're going to try to take everything that we've learned here 
Trying to find a good spot. Looks like it's going kind to of perfectly nestle into that spot right there. Looking super fancy. So let's kind of see how this will work. We're going to put some trees along here. And we're going to really try to make this look kind of oily like. We're going to have like oil spouts shooting up and all sorts of wonderful things. So let's take our entrance. And my vision for the entrance is to do it somewhere about right there. We're going to take our exit. And we're actually going to put it on this back side. Now, the reason being is I want people to be funneled out of the attraction down this way and into the shops and the restaurants and hopefully spend some money within the park. Whereas this entrance right here kind of funnels people, you know, just entering the area into the attraction and then pushes them back out into this area. So I think that'll, you know, liven up our little town here very much. So, like I said, we've got our entrances down. So that's good. I guess we could do some testing now. Let's look at the, the color of this ride. It's, it's red, and, uh, and I'm not a big fan of that color. We're trying to make this look, you know, very kind of a uh, wow, wow, West, Will Smith style. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hopefully try to find some gold and black. So I think if I can get into a color space that's a little bit gold, we don't have to get perfect yet, um, but just something gold related. Hmm, maybe not for this particular support structure. We'll just make it all black for now, and eventually we'll come back in here and maybe see if we can find some areas where we can make it a little bit gold, a little bit uh, mainly kind of black, and maybe a couple other like hues, just to give it kind of that, kind of like a maybe steampunk design. I guess that's kind of what we're trying to achieve in a way with this particular design. Now, for the queue, like I said, I want this to kind of go down here, so we're going to have to shape the terrain just a little bit here. Welcome back. And as you can see, we now have our queue stretching down the hill to our town. Now, this looms over the town, as you can see, once it lifts up into the air. But I think it'll fit. I think it'll fit. Ooh, there's even some steam effects down there. Oh, I like that. So, like I said, this is kind of themed towards that old Wild West movie. And uh, what was it called? Wild Wild West. That's right. Isn't it funny about that? Because, like, as a kid, I thought that was an awesome movie. Then you grow up, and then people are like, oh, no, that was a terrible movie. It's like, no. When I was a kid, that movie was amazing and you're not going to tell me it wasn't <laughs> i had all the little toys from mcdonald's from it anyway let's get into this so um what we're going to do now is we're going to see what we can do about adding theme to the attraction and it doesn't look good my friends it does not look good at all i'm trying to see if there's anywhere we can actually add set pieces to the actual flat nature of the attraction but unfortunately because it lifts up and it comes back down these things are not going to be able to be placed anywhere near. Let's see if there's anything like just small. Let's can we put anything like really small on the actual platform. Nothing. Okay, this is going to be a more of a challenge than I anticipated. So we're going to have to do everything outside of the ride. Hmm, how are we going to do this? How are we going to make this really themed well? My thoughts are now we'll take the boiler like this and actually make this kind of the marquee entrance to it. So we set this, say we set this right there and we take out these extra little boilers on the sides. We can place these in here if we can get them nestled under there in an appropriate way. Let's see, something like this. I'm just ballparking it. Say we did something like that. Just vaguely doing something here, guys. Nothing too precise. Do some steel, we throw in a piece of this, we get a couple wheels going, it's be amazing, right? It'll just take a little bit to figure out because of course this thing spins all around. Now let's check the oil guys, here they are. So we, I wanna put a bunch of these all around here. It would be really nice if I could swap that wood out for the kind of the steel. So what I'm talking about of course is these pieces that would fit more with the theme. But, okay, hmm, this is going to be a bit tricky, guys, a bit tricky. Welcome back, and as we come in, it looks like Canyon Runner has broken down once again, unfortunately. And that gear is way off, so that is actually driving me crazy. I need to fix that before I do anything else. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So I'm trying to build some kind of big mechanical steam machine that actually powers this device. So that's why I'm trying to kind of tie this little hill piece into this. So the only question I have is like, how can we like incorporate that design into this structure here? There is just no way I've been trying to fit anything I can into this area to try to give it steam and smoke and maybe even just like this big like spewing, you know, oil uh, spout or something along those lines I can't find anything yet but I am persistent I'm gonna keep at it a little bit but I do like that I think that has a lot of visual interest over the queue I did add another archway so when you're going through this archway look at this view 
Oh my gosh, that's going to get you excited. You see all these cool little mechanical gears and the smoke coming out of the smokestack. Now that gets you super excited. And of course, the exit kind of goes through another arch over there. So one thing we need to do now, of course, is to start thinking about the landscape. Is this a barren landscape? Are all the plants dead around it because we're, you know, extracting the oils from the earth? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure. I do want to add some more trees and different things like that, just so this isn't so obtrusive within the land. And I think, you know, slowly but surely, look at this. Like, it's not bad. We're getting the land kind of built around it. We're getting some details established. We're really making some huge progress on trying to blend this in. And I think that's the main goal we've had with these last three rides that we've built is to try to make them, you know, have a Wild West theme to them, you know, Gears of Fear and, of course, the bumper car rides. And I think we've done a pretty good job with that, you know, really kind of giving them their own identity. And I think that's been that's actually been really fun. And that's a, an interesting lesson I heard once from a, a podcast with some theme park designers. It was, do you like using intellectual property or do you like coming up with your own ideas? And uh, the, the conclusion was that they liked actually come using IP, but then putting their own spin on it and trying to really make it their own. Now, they felt more that they... Ah, how was the right word they used? They felt that they were more satisfied with their project if it was something that they created out of nothing, but they also found the challenge of using IP was actually harder than creating something of their own because you're trying to make something out of an existing property. Does that make sense? So it's like we're taking this and it's more of a challenge to, you know, incorporate this into the land where we could just make up a roller coaster or something like that. But taking this existing thing and incorporating it into a theme that is not supposed to be set in, that's a bit of a challenge. It's pretty fun. It's more difficult in uh, some terms. So I was listening to that podcast the other day and uh, I just felt like it was something that uh, kind of made sense for what we do over here at the plant at Tough with the Coaster. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually loving this. So this thing looks sad and all alone over here. So we just need to add lots of detail on the cliffs. Now, my thoughts are that we'll jump over here potentially with the pirate set. So we'll grab out the pirate set. And the reason I'm going to grab out the pirate set is I like that it has these kind of wood beams and we've used these throughout the area. And why am I not getting my wood beams come on now where are where are they <laughs> where are they oh here they go okay so they're right over here where are they ah awesome so these little details i love these things because you can really make them look like there's you know platforms and different things along those lines that are kind of holding up this stuff now that might not be the most perfect one so you know you can kind of play with it and just really kind of play to the point where you get what you want in this area so you can kind of build up these platforms um, and i think that looks really nice and especially in the mining area now if i could find one that just really fits in see these posts on the front area don't look so good see how they just hang over now we can fix that via the terrain tool but if i could just get that in nestled in there just enough and i think we can take that orange rock and push that down so we can get that to look a little nicer and like i said you can take your terrain tool go on the bottom here and just give that a couple little clicks there we go and then just fill that in just enough so that the little posts actually connect to something so it feels a little there it is that's it there it is there it is Got that in there and look at that. Now, the question is, can I actually lower down this little piece right there? Oh, no, 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 wrong side. Here we go. There it is. Awesome. See how we kind of covered that up? And of course, on this back side, I think we can give that just a little bit of a push. There we go. That is looking amazing. And we'll give that just one more click. Come on. Oh, you're going to be stubborn today? You're going to be stubborn, aren't you? <laughs> Why is it not going up? I don't get it. Why is this piece is going? I have it unlocked, so this should work. Huh. I don't know why that's acting like that. It's being a bit of a bother, but uh, I'm absolutely loving this. So let me get some more detail on here and think about how to tie this a little bit more into this. And of course, we need some theme around this area also. It's really amazing how just a couple trees and a little landscaping can really tie together a build. Just look at that, just a couple trees. I think that's looking absolutely amazing. And I've said this for a very long time in Minecraft and other games is, you know, you can build a great structure, but just don't forget about the landscape around it. So often it's forgotten, but let's zoom in here and look at this. We've got the wheels a turning. Whoa, whoa, incoming. So we got the wheels a turn and we have the pistons a moving and of course our walkway built down below Remember how the posts were just kind of hanging midair I added some rocks under there because I couldn't get the terrain tool to actually pull out some of the, the dirt there It was very strange. I don't know why uh, but I did get some extra details here and what what what's going on here Scar? What what are you doing? All right, let's remove that. <laughs> we'll just pay no attention to that But I was thinking back in this little corner. I think an oil uh, pump would look amazing So let's look for the oil pump real quick. Ah, here it is. And we're going to stick it right here. This is going to be great. I clicked it, right? 
Uh, maybe, oh, hello. Oh, hello, oil pump. Where are you? Let's cook the steamer. <laughs> There's the steamer. Okay, but where is... There it is. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this into the ground just ever so slightly and see how that's kind of above ground. That's no problem. No problem, my friends. We're just going to give that just a couple little clicks. There we go. And I'm just going to give this a, just a couple little pushes and pulls just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Oh, that's looking very nice. Very, very good. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to jump over to the scene. We're going to go into the special effects and where do they keep the oil? Okay, apparently it's just speakers. Nope, we're back. All right, uh, let's see. Smoke and oil spray. That's it. So I'm not going to go with the big plume. See, this is the big plume. I have plans for the plume, but this isn't the plume time. So we're not going to get plume crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit this right in there. We're going to try to get that lined up just right. Come on, just give me a little more. There we go. Just kind of I'm lining this up, trying to get it perfect. I think that's good. I think that's a perfect spot right there. And like I said, what I want to do is I'm going to take that and I want to duplicate it. Can I get a little duplication going? I can. So I'm going to give that a couple little swoops and give that a little crank. And what I want to do is create this thing right in the center of the marquee here. The reason being is I want to set the tone for this attraction. I want right off the bat, you know, this is oil related attraction. And maybe, I don't know if this is possible, work with me here that we could put the sign for the attraction right on here and have it kind of go up and down. I think that would be actually really, really cool. Um, these things can be set on triggers, um, but I don't know if there's any real reason to do them. Potentially when this goes up, these things could start pumping. Maybe that's a thought. That's definitely a thought we could work with. Um, let's jump back into our scenery here. Let's grab that out. Oop, oop, there we go. And let's give ourselves a little bit of pirate, a little bit of Western. And yeah, so what I love about this game is just this complexity that you can get into. Now you can get way into the weeds and hours can go by, um, but I absolutely love it. I love it to, to pieces here. Um, I, I click I clicked it. Oh, there it goes. Just a little slow. Um, but what I want to do now is I want to add some of these platforms, right? I want to put these kind of on the edges and maybe it looks like they're they're pulling up supplies from down below. So maybe like right here. So if I set this like right there now, the only reservations that I have about doing this right here is I don't want it to kind of take away from the look of the ride. But on the other hand, having something that's very kind of old rustic feeling in the area might kind of look pretty good. So having that on the side looking like they're pulling up supplies to the top, I think could be really, really cool. I want to definitely add some camps and then add some more of these platforms down here just so it kind of fits in just a little bit more. These, these platforms are like my favorite thing right now. <laughs> Those look great. Very good. And then maybe just a couple of these little barrels here and there. Just trying to get as much theme as we possibly can install into the area. Just to give it that, that little bit of place. A little bit more show. Ooh, I forgot about this thing. Ooh, what can I do with this? I don't know. We're all to figure that out. But like I said, I really wish I had more control over this actual structure and, you know, adding extra little details. And I really want to add those plumes of oils coming out of the top of that. We're going to try. We're going to try our best to see if we can make that happen in something reasonable. We don't want the actual plume device up in the air. That would just look a little weird. But uh, let me uh, let me figure if that's any way possible. Welcome back. And as you can see, we have a really cool kind of substantial structure for the entrance into the attraction. So I think that's looking really, really cool. Now we need to make just a couple modifications. Now I love these little turning wheels and the piston going back and forth. So I think that's pretty cool. So I took that long, long cylinder one and then turned it upside down and got this thing on the side. So I could put the wheel over there. I think it looks really cool. Now down here, you might've noticed there is some bubbling pools. It reminds me of the Beverly Hillbillies there. So we We've got kind of that going under there, then a little bit of steam. So it just gives off the impression that there's a lot of oil under there steaming away. So I think that looks really cool. And then let's back up ever so slightly and let's look for the smoke. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a puff, right? I'm going to go with a puff and I want to do it inside this piston right here. I think it's going to look really cool. Just like a little, just a little puff. Yes, that's cool. Next thing I want to do is I want to go with a medium smoke stack here. Just a medium. I don't want to get too crazy. I want to keep the bigger one for the one on the hill. So if I can get that lined up appropriately and then dip it in just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, very, very nice. Now, for this little section here, I always like to put just a little bit of fire in there. This is like my like trademark for these things is I like to get just a little bit of fire and you just want to cover this up so it doesn't show up, but you still want to get the little bit of a flame to come through there. Hmm, I'm not getting it because of, of course, the terrain changes in the area. What if we moved up to a slightly bigger one? 
No, no, I can't get it, but that's okay. I might be able to dip that in there just a Oh, there we go, awesome. Okay, perfect. That looks excellent, okay? And then next thing I wanna do is, I wonder if I can get that thing, hmm, that's a spout. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. This is gonna look amazing, but I really wanna back it down just a little bit so it doesn't be too powerful. I want a little bit of steam coming out of there. Oh, oh it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna take this thing right here and I'm gonna put this one right there also just to give it off a little bit of an impression that's doing it like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it on its side ever so slightly. Just give it a little rotate. Give me one more little rotate, come on there, come on. And then just one more little push that way. <laughs> there we go, mm, still not satisfied actually. Why don't we pull that down just a little bit more. There it is, that's that's it, that's the key. There we go, very, very nice. I love how it just feels like this thing's like just teetering on the side of the cliff. Steam just spewing out of every corner of it. I think that looks really, really cool. It just gives off like a really fun impression, like you're really gonna ride something wild with all this steam and mechanical things spinning about. I think this came out really, really nice. And we were able to take another attraction and make it our own. Like we talked about with like IP and original ideas, we kind of took an existing thing and we kind of wrapped our own kind of imagination skin on top of it. That sounds weird, imagination skin, but I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I think this came out really, really cool. And of course, we have our oil pumps and our trees. And yeah, we just terraformed another area of the park. And let's get an overview of it now. Look at this place. It's amazing. We've got so many attractions everywhere. We still have this attraction pad, and we have this one over here. So what I'm thinking, and this is, this is some options. This is some options, guys. We can go with that wooden roller coaster. And it's kind of a chase theme like you guys had mentioned in the comments. So keep those attraction ideas coming in the comments. So we could do a wooden roller coaster potentially over there. And maybe we could go to that barn idea I had a long time ago. Have a little barn right there. I think actually would look really, really cool. And after that, we have wrapped up our Western land. Time to move on to sci-fi land. And guys, thank you so much for following along as always with our transformation of this park. Can you even believe how much progress we have made in this place over the last few weeks. This is incredible. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later.